G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number one of our AC Milan Super League career mode series. It's that time of the year. FIFA 18 is in its final few months and I thought let's start up a new career mode series but let's do one that is going to be extremely fun. So I put it out to you guys a few days ago in the community tab asking what sort of career mode did you want to see? And a lot of people did say they wanted to see a Super League series, but not with a big side, with a side that still had a lot of room to improve. So here we are. We are doing an AC Milan Super League career mode series. The goal of this series is going to be win the Super League title in two seasons. Do I think we're going to win it in this first season? No, I don't. This first season, we're going to go for it, but mainly it's going to be, a, be about building ourselves up to have a strong run at it in season two. But make sure if you are keen for this series that you show it some mad support. Make sure you leave a like on the video and also make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. And just a little FYI, this series is not going to be replacing the rebuilds, the challenges, etc. It's just going to be going along with it so that we can upload a lot more consistently. So this is the side we have right now. As I said, it's a side that we have a lot of work to do with, but it's still a strong side in certain aspects. We definitely don't think we're going to get relegated out of the Super League, but I definitely think we're going to be in for a, a tough season. We've got players like Bonucci, Donnarumma, Chalanoglu, Bonaventura, these sort of players that can really step up for us, but we've got positions that need improving. So let's jump right into it. Let's try getting some business done early in the window. So we're going to start off here doing a, putting in a transfer offer for a player that's been strongly linked to AC Milan in recent weeks. And that is going to be Karim Benzema, the French striker from Real Madrid. Interested to see how much we can potentially get him for. 29 years old, 56.7 million pounds. No way. Now I don't mind about the 5% sell-on clause because I don't plan on selling him at all, but I don't want to, I want to have enough money so that we can bring in a decent midfielder as well. 45.7 million is decent, but I'm going to try getting it down a little bit more. Let's say 42.5, meet them almost in the middle. Come on, Zidane. Come on, Zidane. Yes. Let's get into transfer talks. I meant to say contract talks, but Benzema, I'm going to delegate it. A pro tip for you guys, if you haven't played career mode or maybe you just don't know this is... You're better off delegating the contract offer because that way you don't have to pay the bonuses and all that fun stuff. But we'll say £220,000 and see what the Frenchman says. And I may as well show you guys the makeup of the Super League while we are at it. Now, apologies if your favorite team's not in here, if you feel like your team's been hard done by. It's just a template I got off the internet that I got off Reddit, so... This is what we've got now. It did originally have Everton in there, but I wanted to put another European team in there, swap out Everton, I put in Leon. And since this series is gonna be running for two seasons, we had to put some teams into the championship as well so that we could have a promotion battle so that teams get promoted next year could be in the Super League. So these are the teams for the second division of the Super League who will be fighting to be in the top league next season. Get in there, lads. It has gone through. We kick off the series with a massive striker signing. Welcome to AC Milan, Kareem Benzema. Transfer offer for Ricardo Montalivo. 32 years of age. Is it worth selling him? I mean, our squad depth isn't incredible. I'm just going to reject that one. And if I'm being honest, I don't really plan on selling on any of our players due to the fact that I'll show you. I'll show you our squad depth. It's not incredible squad depth. I feel like we just have to add to the squad, not take away from it. Uh, and that's saying definitely, definitely going to look to sell players maybe in January or in season two. But this window, unless we get a ridiculous offer, I probably won't sell anybody. And I'm going to go in for one of the better players in the World Cup, one of my favorite midfielders in world football, Ivan Rakitic. He would be great for our midfield here. The big question though is, will we be able to afford the 29 year old Croatian midfielder? I'm going to start off with a 40 million pound transfer offer. 53.9, so we can afford it. That's not a bad sum, but let's bring it down. Let's say 43.9 because 
We don't know who else we're going to want to sign. 48.9. Let's say 45 on the dot and see what Barcelona say. 48.9 again. Is it worth risking the extra 3 million? I don't think so. We're going to accept that and get into contract talks now. So again, we'll delegate it. Don't want to pay 280,000. I'll pay 240,000, max 400,000 and see what Rakitic says. And there it is, our second big signing in a matter of minutes. We have done mad business already in this series. Ivan Rakitic joining us here at AC Milan for 48.9 million pounds. And for the moment, I really don't know where we need to improve because Calabria was a player, like the right back position was somewhere I was thinking about tinkering with, but I might leave it for the moment because Calabria has a pretty impressive potential on this game, like 85 potential or something ridiculous like that. The big question though is whether I want to wait and see whether he'll be able to scratch for season two or get, a get ahead of it and sign somebody big now. But I mean, it's hard to say because I'll take you over to our finances tab we're not looking that red hot at the moment in terms of money to work with, 9.7 million. I think I might hold off on transfers for the moment and see if we can get some more money built up as the transfer window goes on. But regardless, I'm pretty damn happy with the business we have done so far. Benzema and Rakitic, that is some world-class quality experience in our starting 11. But we're gonna get right into the gameplay, fellas, right into the Super League season, and it's a big test to kick off our Super League season as we are facing Bayern Munich at home, the San Siro. Let's get into it and see what we're made of. I'm excited, but I'm nervous heading into this first game. How will Rakitic do? How will Benzema do? All these questions are gonna be answered. Are we contenders or pretenders here to kick off the season? But AC Milan versus Bayern Munich. I'm definitely excited. There he is, Rakitic in the AC Milan kit for the first time. That's looking pretty good on him. All right, so here is our starting lineup for game one of the Super League season. And it's the same lineup I showed you guys a little bit earlier. Pretty interested to see how we go. Uh, I'm willing to experiment in the right back spot to give Abate a little bit more game time as the season rolls on and players like Silva and stuff as well. I'm definitely not locked into this 4-3-3 defensive formation, but that's what we're rocking with at the moment. But Bayern Munich, no Manuel Neuer to start this one off, must still be injured like real life. Uh, strong backline to break through. Vidal sitting at that defensive mid spot's gonna be tough. It's a very strong side here from Bayern Munich. Thomas Muller up front. No Lewandowski either on the bench. They've left a lot of their big name players on the bench, but Let's get into it. Match one of the Super League season. Here we go. We're just playing a slow build-up sort of brand at the moment. We've drawn them in nicely. Hakan goes back post. Suso. I think he might have been offside, but we get a corner regardless. We're going to bring somebody short here. At least we're trying to. All right, good. We draw one man in. Bonaventura floats this one in here. Benzema still. Who is it? It's Bonucci. And he absolutely just ruins it. He had the opportunity. Bonucci, I want to see a replay of this. It fell right to him. Imagine if it was a striker in that spot. Kingsley Coman. Going through. It's a nice ball. How have we let Thomas Muller get into that position? Thankfully, Gianluigi Donnarumma pulls off a world-class save. How has Romanoli given him that opening, though? We're going to go short here, though. Bernat. Squaring it. Another save from Donnarumma. We try to clear it. It falls back to them. And this time, they score. Our defense has left them so wide open. I'm not blaming myself for the finish, but I'm blaming myself big time for the lead up because I tried to clear it, but it was just unfortunate the way it fell. Uh, and Boateng was able to make the tackle and it fell right to Alaba. But there, how have we let, I think it was Tolisso get the shot off or Boateng get the shot off at first. How did we let him get it off at first? Alaba just great positioning and this is not a good start to the series. Tolisso going here. They're passing it around nicely. Kingsley Coman forcing Donnarumma into another save. Our defense has been pretty damn atrocious, though. Come on, Benzema holding it up. Going to Rakitic. Let's just go for the long shot. Oh, Rakitic! What a goal on debut from the Croats! Oh, my. I just wanted to have the strike. 
just to get some highlights and get momentum in our favour. Maybe he get, maybe gets a corner, but the Croat has the perfect start to his debut, equalising here from range, under enormous pressure as well. Beautifully held up there from Benzema. Nicolas Yule coming in to block it, but not quickly enough there. Oh my god, Ivan Rakitic, that is a way to make the AC Milan faithful love you immediately. What a goal. What a hit back. One all. Here we go. Suso going to Rakitic. Trying to thread it through. Goes back to the Spaniard. We're trying to be patient here. Trying to find the opening. Might even go for another long shot here. Biglia outside of the box. Almost replicates Rakitic's efforts. Alright, the good thing about doing an AC Milan series is we have Hakan Chalnoglu, absolute freak in terms of free kicks. He's going to take this one, and he's forcing a big save out of Ulrich there. That was huge. We've got the ball back though. Bonaventura crossing it in there. We can't get the follow-up effort. That would have been incredible if he scored it. We see the openings though. Ah, oh, it falls apart. Here we go. Hakan gets to it and gets the little tap on. Passing it around here, Bonaventura. Going to Benzema. Going to Rakitic. Rakitic through on goal. Going for the brace. Misses by a matter of inches. And the attack here, Thiago. Going through to Lewandowski. We're trying to defend them here. Vidal going to Thiago. Don't let them score after we've been on top so much. Lewandowski on the angle. We need to close him down a little bit more. Good defense there from Calabria. He has been fantastic today. Oh, now look at the opportunity. Chalanoglu running himself, looking for somebody to feed it to. He's going to go to Rakitic instead. Kind of stuffed that one up, but it's still on here. Chalanoglu deflected. It's going to be a corner. Come on, we got time, fellas. Rakitic. Go short. We go in there. Get your head to it. It falls to Suso. We go for the long shot. Falling around the box, Ricardo Rodriguez taken down, penalty, oh my, well, I did not expect that to be a penalty, Thiago the guilty party, and we have an opportunity here, with two minutes to go, to get three points on the opening day of the season, if that was me on the other end, I would be filthy, Benzema, on debut, can he potentially be a match winner? We're going top left-hand corner. Benzema slots it home. What a debut. What a goal. Lovely finish there. And we might pull off an upset on the opening day of the Super League season. 2-1 up with a matter of minutes to go against Bayern Munich. Both our debutants getting goals. <gasps> no, they've squared it. No, it's fallen to Lewandowski. I tried to square that one back to Donnarumma. Don't you dare buy a Munich. Don't you dare rain on our parade. We're into stoppage time here. Oh, yes, that's going to do it. That is terrible passing from them. Now Suso just running for the corner. Maybe going to get us a third goal. Suso cutting around. Oh, you had to ruin it there. But the referee does blow the full-time whistle. And we come away with a big win on the opening day of the season. After that first 15, 20 minutes, I really thought we were going to struggle. But... Once Rakitic lit the side up, we were all over Bayern Munich after that, from that point on. And it is three points on the opening day of the season. So following round one of the Super League season, we will now dish out the points for the Paolo Maldini medal. The Paolo Maldini medal will be awarded at the end of the season to our player of the season. And for round one, a 2-1 win against Bayern Munich. Three points go to Ivan Rakitic. Two points go to Davide Calabria. And one point goes to Ricardo Rodriguez. So I've just checked after this game against uh, Bayern Munich and the board has upped our transfer budget. We've now got 22 and a half million pounds, give or take, working out the wages, but I'm gonna leave it open to you guys. I want you to leave a comment down below. What player for about the 20 million mark would you like us to sign? And I'll have a look at it for episode two potentially. Because whilst I'm in control for the series, whilst I'm the player operating the series, I wanna leave a lot of this in your hands as well. And I wanna make all of you guys feel a part of this because I want it to be a fun career mode. We got two, two months left in FIFA 18 and I just wanna have a lot of fun. We are gonna jump right into match number two for the Super League season. And it is an all Italian affair 
Once again from the San Siro, another home game for us. But we are taking on Napoli. And I'm really interested to see how this game turns out. So here is our starting 11 for today's game. Only the one change that I have made. I have brought in Matteo Musaccio instead of Alessio Romanoli. I want to give Musaccio a little bit of game time. Romanoli is going to be uh, my preference over him if I'm comparing the two. But still want to see how Musashio perform. And then here is the Napoli side. Pepe Reina in between the sticks. This is a pretty good side, Napoli. Uh, Koulibaly, Albiol, they've got Hugo Mallo, fresh signing. Uh, Hamshik in the midfield there. Of course, no Jorginho. I've already transferred him to Chelsea. And then that front three, very dangerous. Jose Calihon, Mertens, and Insigne. Zielinski running through here. Going to Dries Mertens. Going to Allen. We can't give them space to shoot. What a save. Gianluigi Donnarumma. We could see that shot coming from a mile away. But we did well. Well, Donnarumma did well, not me. Donnarumma did well to stop it. All right, but the corner is still on here for Napoli. They're going to go to Dries Mertens. They're going to get the cross in. We got lucky to get that one away. And now we're looking to hit them on the counter-attack. Come on, make that run, Benzema. We're going to release him. Oh, yes, we get in front of Zelinski. Benzema cutting back. Nice move. Running through, looking to square it. Goes to Suso, it's just behind him. And it's a good save from Pepe Reina. They're looking dangerous here, Napoli. Causing us some issues early on. Lorenzo and Signe. Going through to Zelinski. Goes back, stick there. They go to Calihon. Pretty embarrassing that he wins the header in that position. Come on, passing it around here. Going to Biglia. Going to Rakitic. Gets in front of it somehow, but not in a good shooting position. We're just trying to find ourselves an opening. Benzema, this is nice. Rakitic on the ankle, hits the crossbar. Could have made it two from two. Napoli looking to start the second half on the front foot. Might bring Calabria off soon. A little bit worried about the yellow card. But that's a nice ball there. It goes through. That's the second time that Ricardo Rodriguez has lost the aerial battle to Jose Callihon. And this time it costs us because Napoli score a goal. Ricardo Rodriguez, that is not good enough, mate. The first one was embarrassing. This one, a little bit more understandable because he was running behind and had his back to him. But still, why are you trying to kick that one over the top? Watch him. Look, he's trying to sit bloody bicycle kick that one over his head. Why don't you use your head, put it out for a corner, or just put it out of the danger zone? Frustrating, and we're behind now. And we're going to make a substitution here. Calabria coming off. Abate coming on just because of the yellow card, really. We're passing it around. Abate. Going here to Suso. I see Abate. This is some nice link-up play. Benzema needs to get back in the middle, though. It's going to go through to Bonaventura. And the header just lacking. This is some nice link-up play here. Benzema, beautiful use of the body. Chalanoglu caught up two. Puts Callihon on his ass. This is beautiful... Uh, possession play here, but can we make the most of it? Biglia going through. We're going to go to Benzema. Benzema the shot. Save from Reina. We do get the corner from it though. Bonaventura. It's going to float it into that open area. It's going to go there. Benzema the header. Straight at Pepe Reina again. We won the ball back though, which was nice. And we get another bite at the cherry. Benzema onside. Thought he might have been off. Goes there, Rakitic, one touch, one shot, another big save from Pepe Reina. He has been near Napoli's man of the match, but we get a corner. Come on, win that ball. No, we can't win the ball back, and we can't get a point out of this game. A high energy game, highly entertaining game as well, but unfortunately we suffer a 1-0 loss on the second round of the Super League season. Would have been nice to go 2-0 to start the series off, but... A 1-0 loss against a pretty damn good Napoli side. Following our loss in round 2 to Napoli, we are going to give 3 points for the Paolo Maldini medal to Lucas Biglia. 2 points to Ivan Rakitic. What a start to the season he has had. And 1 point for Ignazio Abate for an incredible performance off the bench. And at the end of episode number 1, here is 
the leaderboard for the Paolo Maldini medal. Rakitic in first on five points, Biglia in second on three points, Calabria in third place on two points, and Rodriguez and Abate equal fourth on one point each. But fellas, that is where we will conclude the first episode of our AC Milan Super League career mode series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. Make sure you let me know what positions of the squad you want me to improve both now and in the future. We've got about 20 million to work with for this window still, so I'm interested to see your comments about that. But anyways, lads, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you're keen for episode number two in the series all around. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.